So here's something really interesting that I found after you finish the fight with Biff. Before you uh, do the whole Darby thing right after you knock him out and the cutscene plays, you can actually knock out Darby outside of his boss fight. And I think that this might be a good way to skip the whole section. Of course, you'll still have to knock him out, but I do believe that this is way more efficient since he won't be able to retreat back to hiding. See, if you throw an egg at him or damage him in any way, then he'll get provoked and just forget about that he was supposed to run into that room. And instead, he'll just fight you there. So as you can tell, I'm just taking out the uh, preps one by one so that they don't actually uh, distract me while I try to take Darby out. I never did this before, so I was just, just kind of surprised when I did this. Um, this whole thing was done when I was practicing, by the way, so I wasn't really, like, going for a fast time in the first place. But I do believe that you could potentially do this really quickly. From the looks of it, Darby's using his boss fight style, so I decided to just take it easy and just take pot shots at him from uh, over the table. As you can tell, his AI doesn't know what to do, so he's just unable to do any harm to me. So after a few slingshot shots, I'm able to knock him out, but as you can tell, nothing really happens. At this point, I thought I softlocked the game, so I decided to just kind of dick around and do random shit. So I decided to check out what would happen if I actually went inside the trophy room, and to my own surprise, it actually makes a long loading screen section for some reason. I think it has to do with the fact that Darby's knocked out, or it could just be a coincidence. Either case, you can still hear people walking around in the background, so you know that the game hasn't exactly crashed. And because I actually knocked Darby out, he's making a sad face, which is kind of funny and cute at once. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends, just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. And as you can tell, I did not knock Darby out. He got knocked out himself because I had already done so. He had zero health, and the game just checked him and said, well, he's knocked out. So that's how you skip that entire boss fight section. Of course, you still have to knock him out outside of it, but I do believe that this might be a faster way to complete the whole mission. Or at the very least, his boss fight. Thanks for watching this quick video, hope you guys enjoyed.